Jamie, and we're so happy to be the gin of the month for August. Today we're at Brass Lion Distillery, and since everyone can't travel, I'm going to take you through a little sneak peek of what happens here on a usual Sunday afternoon. So let's go. We have distillery tours where people can come in and see how Brass Lion is made. On the second floor, we have our gin school, and this is where people can come in and make their very own bottle of gin. Inside, we also have our tasting room, and this is for people to come in and try our gins and, you know, stay for cocktails and more gin and tonics. I hope you guys enjoyed that quick tour through our distillery. Um, got to saw the our manufacturing space as well as our gin school where people were making their own gin, as well as the tasting room where people were having some drinks. And I know you guys can't come and join us right now, but hopefully once borders open up, you guys can come here and join us at Brasland for a drink. In the meantime, cheers! So we're going to start off with 60 ml of Brass Lion Singapore Dry Gin. If you're using mango puree, use about 45 ml. And if you're using fresh mango, use about half of a fresh mango. Pour that into the blender. Next, we're going to add 15 ml of lemon juice. Followed by 15 ml of lemongrass syrup. And now we're going to add a handful of mint leaves. Add a large cup of ice. And start blending. Now that it's nice and smooth, we're going to pour it into a glass of your choice. And we're going to top it up with a sprig of mint leaf. Simple as that. Enjoy guys! For the next recipe, we'll be making the oolong tini. You want to start off with 45 ml of the Singapore Dry Gin, followed by 45 ml of oolong tea. Add 10 ml of honey, 5 ml of lemon juice, add some ice, and stir it well. To finish it off, you want to top up with 60 ml of tonic water. Just give it a gentle lift. Garnish with a slice of lemon and mint leaf. And enjoy!